You ready? So, like I said, I had a beautiful upbringing. Mm-hmm. My grandparents raised me. Yeah, please share. It's a crazy story. Um, so, at a very young age, my biological mother made a choice that mm-hmm. was a blessing. Mm-hmm. Um, she made a choice to allow my grandparents to raise me so she could pursue some other things. Her biological mom. Yes, yes. And so it's my biological grandmother and my step-grandfather. I didn't want to go into too much detail. Yeah, yeah no, it's okay. But um, my grandparents raised right. me. And um, she went and pursued a relationship, and mm-hmm. it, it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. And for the longest time, I just, like, held. Anger. Yeah, towards her. Mm-hmm. I'm doing clinics and camps for kids that need help and, um, you know, supporting other people's families, like, with my time and even helping them out with Christmas and stuff. But, like, towards her, I was cold. I was a different person. Mm-hmm. And uh, once I realized that, he this is what this is what Peter said to me. He's like, do you want for her to go to the grave with a broken heart due to you? Mm-hmm. I paused and just yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like that's I crazy. lost it. I was like, yeah. I don't want anyone to go to, right. to the grave with a broken heart because so of me, cool. especially not the person who gave me the gift of life and help. Like she put me in an environment to put me here to with win. you today. Yeah. Um. And I and I always knew she gave me a gift, but I would still spin it. It was bitter. Yeah. Yeah, I would still spin it. And over Christmas, uh, like sat down with her and I hope she's okay with me talking about this yeah. but I sat down with her and told her like I'm sorry for the way I treated you like mm. it wasn't right what you did for me was wow. and that so how did you is that where you felt the so uplifting? prior to that is whenever I felt like mm-hmm. the energy leaving my body and before I had that conversation with her which was like probably two weeks after I realized that right. dude I couldn't sleep like I called Peter and said, "Dude, like I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna say, man. Like I'm nervous as shit. I don't really get nervous that right, much because right, right. we do things on such a big stage. Right? Conversation with my anybody is like easy. Right? Um, and so I was kind of like freaking out a little. He's like, "Look, man, just what you said to me on the couch two weeks ago. Just say that. Mm-hmm. It's it's not scripted because it's come from your heart. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've just felt this joy." Um, this this deeper happiness that you never really felt before that I never felt before and that's what it's allowed me to be more giving um, like mm-hmm. with the situation with my parents uh, one of my recent posts on Instagram I bought my parents cars for Christmas tear jerker yeah real tear jerker now. <laughs> yeah I, I'm a sucker for that shit bro yeah like uh, military when they come back oh yeah and gifting you every gifting time. parents gifting like, every things. time I fucking I can't yeah yeah. So um, <laughs> I just I I have such so so that was part of you know this whole understanding and I, after you had that conversation you said you were also inspired to make those purchases yeah here. yeah and I feel there's more space in my mind for creativity and giving and thoughtfulness and everything and it's something that Peter talks about too and I don't want to just sit here and gas him up but yeah no, the conversations with him have changed my life um, but. Basically, if we have a blank canvas, slowly over the course of time, there's clutter. There's things that get on the Mm -hmm. canvas canvas that don't allow us to be creative. Taking up space. Exactly. So that was the biggest space taker. 